Winning the first district crown in eight seasons does something to a program. For this Trojan squad, it's heightened the eagerness to return to the court for the 2023 campaign, and it's also made strides for the future Trojans as well. It's really exciting, um, you know, because we have a lot of players back. Um, the girls are extremely excited, and um, some momentum has been built even with our younger girls. You know, we've seen more girls come out this year than we've ever had, so it's really been, uh, it's been great. Well, I definitely see a lot of girls try out this year. There was a lot of freshmen that tried out, which is really good, and I think that winning that district championship really um, set a tone for our program and showed that we have a little more fire in us than people think that we have. A roster dominated by underclassmen a season ago, now with a year of experience under their belts. I think our confidence grew and I think that's something that I'm really looking forward to because we had a lot of younger girls last year that had to play really big roles but I think now we have the confidence so I think we'll come out stronger than we did last year which I'm really excited for. That experience of playing in the district championship, you know, we lost in EPCs, we really um, learned from that and then translating that to district championship, you know, that's going to help us a lot this year. Being able to battle through adversity with an inexperienced lineup is currently paying dividends for this 2022 Trojans group who just hope that that ability to fight is something that carries over into this season. Um, just like the hard work, um, we saw like in the beginning of the season it was a little rough in the middle and then we just like um, just overcame it and we were able to have great success at the end. So just like overcoming like adversity is like the main thing for this team and I think we're doing that now too. So We hope that you know that ability to you know take adversity and change it into what we you know into to change lemons into uh, lemonade right. Yeah. Uh, we, we hope to keep doing that. I definitely think with last year like we all wanted to do it for Mo and we had that fight that we wanted. I think that translated into this year that we still wanted to do the same thing. We want to still fight push through any battles that come with us because we had COVID the further year. So I just think that we have that fight and we're showing it to young girls that have come up to give that fight. So I'm excited. From Parkland, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the FC Network.